Good morning, everybody. Meteorologist Robert Spetta here with WesternPacificWeather.com. It is currently about 0600 Japan Standard Time, or about 0500 in the Philippines here. We're about 21 Zulu for those of you worldwide here. We're continuing to watch Super Typhoon Sangha here, or Super Typhoon Chiding here. Uh, current winds from JTWC showing max winds uh, right now, about 140 gusting up to 170 knots. So a very, very strong storm here. Uh, very high potential for damage here, but good news is remaining on. Off the east coast of Luzon here. Also noting um, JMA here on a uh, three minute wind average uh, showing winds of 105 gusting up to 150 knots. Also showing a minimum pressure from them at 920 HPA so a very deep system here as well in the center of this warm core low here as it continues to track off to the north here. Noting one report of a death of a pretty much a man in his 70s here who went fishing along the east coast of Luzon here and uh, did die uh, according to that. Some police picked him up uh, early this morning here. So really kind of sad news coming out of that region here. Uh, but noting basically as you have a storm running along the east coast of Luzon here, you really do not want to go anywhere near the beaches here. Large swells out there currently being reported. Some heavy thunderstorms around the Manila metropolitan area as well coming into western Pacific weather.com here so still kind of a dangerous situation here even though the storm is not making landfall mainly due to the fact of just the mere size of this showing the water vapor imagery here lots of water vapor getting wrapped into the southern periphery of this of coming from the equatorial outflow here and really some heavy thunderstorms still being reported here over Visayas and even much of southern Luzon here you still have some heavy thunderstorms moving over the Manila area so the flooding potential is still very high for anybody out here as you continue to see a lot of this inflow going into the center of the storm here and basically along northeastern Luzon here all the way up from Apari is the Sierra Madre region to the south here going to be seeing some heavy rain showers and still pretty high winds out here signal force one in effect for much of uh, the eastern coast here about nine provinces as, as of last night were under effect here from uh, uh, Typhoon Sangha here so we're continuing to watch some high winds here good news is already noted it's going to be moving north away from the island here in the next 24 hours so conditions should gradually improve here still going to see some outlying thunderstorms by tomorrow morning here much of uh, Luzon as it continues to track off to the north here but by uh, basically by Sunday here really going to see a dramatic improvement in the weather here and as much of this typhoon is going to suck up the moisture here as shown on the imagery here you could see a dramatic improvement in the weather by Sunday Sunday here over much of the Philippines. So just want to note that as well. I know it's really kind of uh, dark out there right now, but it's always darkest before the dawn. So uh, once this moves to the north here, conditions are going to rapidly improve. Now moving farther to the north though, conditions over in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours here specifically in Okinawa you know, conditions are going to rapidly dissipate here actually showing by basically the afternoon and evening hours in Okinawa are going to see a max winds right around 100 to uh, gusting up to 130 knots as this system makes a landfall just on the right front quadrant passing just towards the west of Okinawa here so going to see those max intensity of winds if this storm continues to remain on the same track as already noted in the past here uh, basically though uh, conditions out here 140 knots gusting up to 170 knots on JTWC's warning here but as it continues to track to the north here it's going to get caught up in these westerlies here get a lot of shear as it encounters here actually showing the shear map of upwards of 30 to 40 knots and even higher farther to the north here now this is really going to have a large effect on the system rapidly decreasing the intensity of it as it continues to track off to the northeast here not taking away the fact that there's still going to be heavy rains across most of Hansu. also noting that some of the models here are taking the storm a little bit farther west than has previously been shown shown in the last few days making a landfall on southern Kyushu here around Fukuoka and also farther towards the north here is crossing the island here up in Osaka and Kyoto likely going to be seeing some high winds if the models stay on this track noting JTWC has a track a little bit farther off towards the east here JMA kind of on the same line as them here with not seeing significant landfall on basically eastern Luz or eastern uh, Honshu here as the system tracks off to the north here mainly due to an upper level ridge that's sitting up here just uh, on northern Hachu here as we noted in last night's update. Going back to the streamline analysis though, the overall background flow kind of splits up in this region here but 
Also noting to topography kind of taking an effect here. So if it does run along the east coast of uh, Honshu here and much of the uh, Japan here, really not going to see that system cross over the mountains. Uh, if it does, it's really going to de-intensify just due to uh, adiabatic lifting out there, or excuse me, diabatic lifting, basically caught by the upward vertical motion of the uh, air along the uh, sides of the mountains here. So much of it's going to get rained out, sheared across here, and you would see a rapid de-intensification if it does track over much of Japan here. Remains just off the east coast here could likely go extra tropical and come fairly strong. So continuing the watch here, next 24 hours going to have a clearer picture. As of right now, though, is looking at the background flow here, much of Okinawa really under the uh, gun here over the next uh, coming day as this continues to track up here. Really confident in the fact that it is going to make landfall along Okinawa. And here showing the track from JMA or the Japan Meteorological Association out here. Uh, winds 105, gusting up to 150 knots here as it continues to track off towards the north, then recurving off towards the northeast as it gets wrapped up in the uh, west release here. The upper level winds, basically the jet stream located along Japan right up in this region here and noting they're also moving the track a little bit towards the west here putting the right front quadrant on Okinawa and much of the Ryukyu Islands here as it can moves across that region here on the basically the early morning of the 29th here showing from uh, JMA that's about 18 uh, UTC that's about 0, 0300 in the morning with that landfall on Okinawa so uh, really not good news uh, seeing that night landfall being forecasted right in here much better in the day you can, more people can see what's going on out there night landfalls is usually when you start to see those deaths as well so uh, basically I would like strongly note that everybody to stay indoors when this uh, storm passes over the region Okinawa really well suited for typhoons so kind of good news as far as that a lot of the buildings could withstand a uh, 100 knot wind uh, sustained wind out here but uh, once you start seeing those injuries is when people start venturing outside or people don't secure their objects outside and start causing that loose debris to fly around but as for now though still a very strong uh, system out here the super typhoon actually showed an ASCA imagery is just showing this very well defined circulation out here. This is one of the very few ways we actually do get on the uh, observations coming from the satellite out here, just showing the wave heights and the wave directions and just overall circulation here. So, just want to note this as well. But that is all for today, everybody. Thanks again for listening to WesternPacificWeather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as usual, you can post them here on the YouTube channel or email me at WestpacWeather.com. A link is below if you want to email me there. So, thanks again for listening. Also, noting I'm posting this at storm2k.org if I am not available plenty of meteorological and professional meteorological discussion going on there as well on this storm so really good stuff coming out of that site there as well so thanks again everybody stay safe out there remember stay away from the beaches here in the Philippines and have a great day